Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day. So something occurred to me in the previous video that I just did regarding the uh, Frucian's design kit. So I found out when I was playing around with the fan speed uh, for the AC Infinity. I was normally having it at the 70%. All right, normally it was at uh, two bars less. So right now it's at max. You guys can see the power consumption right at 171. I was at 60, 70 watts before. But the power consumption for the S19 XP here was around 3250, 3260. Now that I've turned up the fan speed on this to 100, to max, it's at 3052 watts now. All right, so it looks like the power consumption kind of like swapped over to the fan in a way, but now that this thing is essentially cooler, okay, you can see the temperature drop I'm using uh, Luxor OS, just in case anyone's wondering. I love the dashboard here. Uh, but anyways, going to my S19 XP, it's dropping down. It's at 52 degrees Celsius now. Normally, at the medium or 70% uh, temperature is at 60 degrees Celsius, okay? Now, we're at 51 and still going down. But as we're going down in temperature, the power consumption has also been going down on the ASIC itself. I have the AC Infinity fan by itself on a 120 volt circuit, just to show you guys here, okay? This is the AC Infinity fan, okay? It's 171 watts, and this one, the ASIC is by itself 3,040 watts now. So that is interesting to note. I did not know that, I guess, as the temperature dropped a good 10 degrees Celsius, it is dropping in power consumption as well. I don't know if any of you guys have noticed that as well. Uh, let me know down below. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this back uh, down to, let's just say half. I don't know, let's just do 60. Is that 60%? Yeah, let's do 60. Normally I had one more bar up, but now, okay. And now it's a lot more quiet. This is, man, <laughs> much quieter now. But the power consumption is now at 40 watts, okay, for the AC Infinity fan. And now we should see the power consumption for the S19 XP is gonna start going up. You guys can already see. All right, we were, we were at 30, 40 watts, 30, uh, 3,040 watts. Now we're, now it's going up, 31, 66, 67. So depending on the environment, depending on your cooling, you know, your ambient temperatures, uh, this is very interesting uh, to take note here. I just wanted to show this to you guys. I don't know if you guys have seen the variable power consumptions wherever you live, of course, with your S19 or S19 XP. Let me know down below. But it is pumping out more heat now and we should see the power, uh, the temperature, sorry, going up, okay? So we were at 51, now it's hovering back at 57, okay? And it's still going up kind of, 57. You know, the terahash was the same, but look, we're at 3276 watts now, okay? From 3040. So that's pretty interesting to note that we've went down from 170 watts on the AC Infinity down to 40. And then now it looks like we've, oh man, we're going up like almost 260 watts now, 3300 watts, okay? 
So I would probably, I, man, come to think of it, I'd probably, I'd rather run the AC Infinity fan at full than have the S19 XP run at, you know, this power consumption without the stock bitmain fans. But so that's one thing to consider. I know that when I was running the stock bitmain fans, I think we were at 3220 watts. And depending on the environment, depending on how hot it was, I know sometimes it would go up to 3300 watts, okay, with these bitmain fans. So even though we don't have any fans plugged into the ant miner right now, S19 XP, it's it's going over 3350 watts now. That is pretty crazy. All right, that's pretty crazy. All right, so look at this. The temperature is going higher. Okay, we are now at 63 degrees Celsius. Okay, so I'm going to bump it up. All right, one notch. Okay, I think we're gonna go up to 69, 60, 70 watts now. This is the, this is the uh, fan speed I did normally, okay? And I'm wondering if the power consumption is now gonna come down. Yeah, see, we're now we're seeing the power consumption come down on the ASIC, so I'm gonna let this go just by going up a little bit. And we are seeing now the temperature drop. Okay, we were, we were at 64, okay? From 52 to 64, okay? Going back here, okay, so temperature is dropping, you guys can see, I'm not lying to you, so we're at 3350. Now we're at 3300. 62 watts here. Okay, so really the temperature of the hash boards in this S19 XP is affected a lot by, I guess, how much airflow, I guess the temperature, really generally for the whole ASIC is doing that. It may draw more power uh, at the wall. Okay, so I, I found that to be pretty interesting as I did the review of the Prussian design ASIC shrouds. So I just wanted to make that aware for some of you guys that are buying one of these things. That's just something to be aware of as we are now, I guess, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just seeing this now that the power consumption is quite drastic dependent on the temperatures. Okay. So now we're at 62 degrees Celsius. Okay. We were at 64. So we did go down a little bit here. 3275, right? And of course, to show you guys the drastic change here, let's just go up one more notch. We're not at full 100%, but we're at 90. I'm gonna say 90% that we are gonna come down now. It is a hotter day out in my area here outside. I have the air coming in through the garage. So it is, uh, it is warming up inside uh, where I'm doing this test right now, okay? So it's, yeah, 32, 20 watts now. 93 watts on the AC Infinity fan at 90%. Okay, so you guys can see we're dropping in uh, wattage now. And we are now at 60 degrees Celsius. Okay, so that's what I had before. And uh, just feeling the back. It is feeling pretty toasty. A lot of heat coming from this S19 XP. But, uh, yeah, the temperature or power consumption is dropping as well. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys this and uh, I, I'm just curious, have any of you guys noticed this before? Anyone that's running any type of ASIC, I guess, if you've noticed the varying power consumptions depending on your environment, ambient temperature, outside temperature, how much air is coming in, uh, have you noticed that? Have you noticed that your ASIC is utilizing more power or less power to so say you're running in a much cooler environment and your ASIC is having a lot more colder, dense air going through thus the power consumption is going down essentially okay man we knocked off a good 150 watts here 100 or two, 200 watts from going from a much lower ac infinity uh, speed here and of course if we go max it's really going to draw a lot more power but we are going to drop in power consumption on the s19 xp all right i thought i would just show this because it, yeah, this is just very interesting to me. What would you rather do? Run your AC Infinity fan at max and then have like, you know, 300 watts less on your S19 XP? Or, uh, you know, run, you know, I guess as we're doing this, we're kind of having the sound a lot higher. So it kind of defeats the purpose of this AC Infinity fan that we're running it at max fan speed and uh, I guess power consumption versus 
the S19 XP here that I have, it's no longer running at 3300 watts, 3350. It's going down now to 3080. I think at, at the lowest point it was at 3040 watts. Okay, going back to the web GUI for Luxor on my S19 XP, we're at 54 degrees Celsius. Okay, so you guys, you guys can see throughout this whole video, we just did a comparison here as the temperature rised in the web GUI that we were using a lot more power consumption. But as we're now we're going down in temperature that it's using less power now at the ASIC, but we're of course in turn, we're using more power at the fan because we're pushing more air through. All right, that's it for this video guys. I, I just wanted to make it you know short and sweet and just showing you guys the differences here. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below if you've seen something like this and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out.